Hey guys, and welcome to my newest Let's Play project, made by Enix, for the Super Nintendo. It's been a while since I've played anything on this system, and by a while I mean since Earthbound. Let's play Illusion of Gaia. I think it was called Illusion of Time in Europe for some reason. They're weird in Europe. But anyways, let's start a new journey. Now for those of you who haven't played Illusion of Gaia, or it's prequel Soul Blazer, or it's sequel Terra Enigma, it's an action RPG with... Actually, there aren't very many RPG elements in this game. It's more of an action game. This is our main character. He's not silent. Also, the thing about this world, or about this game, it actually takes place in... on Earth. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of actual places. And this is Will. His dad is dead. Because he's an RPG hero in the 90s. <laughs> and my nose suddenly got stuffy. Also, this game was also made by Quintet. And you're, if you've played any of their other games, you're gonna recognize a lot of sound effects. Especially if you played Act, er, yeah, Act Razor. A lot of the sound effects from that game come for, uh, have been used in this game too. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally skipped that. Also, this is the worst school ever. <clears throat> but anyways, our friends are going to meet us by the cave in the seashore. Okay, but anyways, first things first. This is South Cape, our hometown. Uh, let's take a look around town before we head to our objective. Also, if you double tap, you can run. That's going to come in very handy later in the game. For now, it's just a good way to get around. Also, up here is a special thing. We're in space. Also, we're evil. Yeah, this is called a dark space. Basically, it's a save point. Well, we find a lot of these. Later in the game, we can unlock things that we can access there. But for now, it's just a save point. Also, it uh, restores all our HP if we go in there. What do you have to say? Yeah, Will likes to jump from high places for some reason. Also, if we look at the bell, we get a red jewel. Those are our collectibles. There are about 50, there are exactly 50 in the game. Not almost, exactly 50 in the game. I am going to try to collect them all, but some of them are really easy to miss. Also, if you, you can jump off ledges. That just tells you how to run. And if we talk to this guy, this is Jem. He'll be in almost every town we go to. He'll also almost look different every single time. Let's just give him our jewels. We only have one. Uh, as we give him more jewels, he'll give us uh, start giving us prizes. Yeah, some of these stuff, the stuff is actually really good. But for now, we only have one jewel, so we'll just give it to him. But anyways, let's look around town a bit. What do you have to say? Let's see. Oh, crap. This is Seth's house. His parents don't get along. Yeah, they're not exactly the best parents. Anyways, let's go see our other friends' houses before we meet them at the cave. This is Lance's house. He lives with his mom. But that's not important. What is important is what's in their basement. Uh, it's in one of these. There it is. They're holding another red jewel. There are about three in this... Uh, yeah, there are... Why do I keep saying about? There are exactly three in this area. Let's see. And one of them we can't get just yet. This guy seems to be having trouble. And let's look around town a bit more before we actually start doing stuff. Sounds like a meteor is coming by. But yeah, surprisingly the wind blowing through Will's hair is actually kind of important in this game. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, but anyways. Actually, it's a good idea to watch Will's hair at certain places. You'll see. 
This is Eric's house. It's big and yet needs wallpaper. Also, his mom wants to hear stories. Yeah, he's rich. Also, his walls are kind of not good looking. And his mother's on fire. Or not. But anyways, yeah, there's nothing... Uh, I don't think there's anything here to get. Nope, nothing here. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, Wilt does like to jump from high places. He just jumped off a two-story building. He's fine, though. But yeah, also in this game, there's no money or anything, so we won't be buying items. This is Will's house. He lives with his grandparents. Also, apparently his grandma's cooking dinner at the bookshelf. Okay. But anyways, uh, there's not much else to see around here. What's in here? Okay. Yeah, there's nothing else here to see. Let's go meet our friends down at the uh, dock. That's to the south, I think. Yeah, to the south. Just follow the water. They basically come here and play card games all day. gives a shit because apparently nobody likes a princess around here also will does have a uh, telekinetic powers just saying to use them basically you just hold RL and you can pull things that's gonna be important later in the game also, you can use that to block attacks. Because Will is psychic. No, seriously, Will is psychic. And basically, no matter which one you pick, it's always the right one. It's not magic, it's psychic powers. He sees dead people. Oops, I accidentally skipped that. Yeah, the dialogue's kind of easy to skip if you push anything. And then nobody gives a shit anymore. Anyways, that's all we really have to do for now. And it's already sunset, but first things first, I'm going to try this real quick. Technically, you can get the third red jewel now, but it's actually really luck-reliant. If he doesn't appear... Come on, one more time. Nope, yeah, this part is really luck-reliant. Er, <clears throat> Basically, if there's a fisherman on the right side of the dock, if you look in his pot, there's a red jewel. But he, it's random on when he appears and when he doesn't appear. And it's usually uh, easier after the next area anyways. So let's just head home. Grandma turned into a pig. Okay. And now uh, let's uh, check on that pig. That's a pig, alright. A very pushy pig. Named Hamlet. This is Kara. She's kind of a bitch. Okay, yeah, she really is a bitch. <laughs> N 
no, why would... Anyways, yeah, this is the runaway princess. She randomly appears in your house. Kind of odd. Aw, they're still in love. Let's see what's going on downstairs. <laughs> yeah, she is kind of a brat. Well, that was odd. And of course, nobody gives a shit. Oh, we just saw a girl abducted from our, ho our house. Oops. And our grandfather built a dungeon. Okay. Let's eat in the bedroom because that's where normal people eat dinner. That sounds... Absolutely disgusting. Oops. Ah, crap. I skipped that. What did it say? Oh, I don't... That sounds absolutely disgusting. Just saying. Okay, and our grandmother teaches us a melody. Also, uh, Will plays the flute. So basically, if you collect melodies, you can actually use them, because Will knows how to play them. Also, he uses his flute in combat. That shouldn't really work, because flutes can't really take a beating. Just saying. But anyways, well, looks like we got a letter from the king, and a melody. Oh, here's another thing about red jewels. If you just equip them in the menu, and then just push B, they automatically get sent to gem. So you don't have to clutter up your inventory with them. Uh, but anyways, we got a letter from Edward Castle. Let's head there next. But we'll do that next time. So next time on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia, this guy's getting in my way. Alright, anyways, next time on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia, come on world map, we head over to Edward Castle. Till next time.